The first thing that comes to mind when we think of Titanic is the movie and the story that everyone is talking about. Beyond that, I would like to share with you the events that have been shared through a letter from a survivor who traveled on that ship. We will also go inside that ship and see those minutes. Everyone travel with me guys. I will read the contents of his letter to you at the end of this video. It will be very interesting. Don't miss it. Shortly before midnight on April 14, 1912, the RMS Titanic struck an iceberg roughly 400 miles off the coast of Newfoundland. Two and a half hours later, at 2.20 a.m., the ship sank with approximately 1,500 people still on board. This letter, written on Carpathia stationery by first-class passenger Dr. Washington Dodge, is a vivid account of the sinking that describes the Titanic's final hours. It is one of the earliest, most immediate, and compelling accounts of the disaster. In addition, the carelessness of Dodge's handwriting offers a glimpse into his state of mind as he penned his testimony. Hello guys! This video is definitely interesting so don't skip it and watch till the end. New viewers, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe immediately. Dodge, a prominent doctor, banker, and politician from San Francisco, boarded the Titanic at Southampton on April 10 with his wife Ruth and son Washington Dodge Jr. His description of the sinking was written within days after the disaster, as the Carpathia ferried the Titanic survivors to New York. Carpathia passenger Dr. Frank H. Blackmar began soliciting narratives from various passengers, including Dr. Dodge. He assembled a scrapbook of first-hand accounts and used them to lecture about the sinking. Dodge's tale begins at 11.40 p.m. when he and his wife were awakened by the ship's impact with the iceberg. Twice Dodge went on deck and was told there was no danger. Having been told that there was no danger, and believing such to be the fact from the general conduct of the passengers and such officers as I saw I insisted that my family remain in bed and await developments, once more returning to the companionway I asked our steward who was standing in there was he had heard, he replied the order has just come down for all passengers to put on life preservers. Dodge and his family quickly ascended to the starboard boat deck. His wife and son boarded lifeboat 3, the second boat launched from that side of the ship. Dodge remained on the starboard side of the ship, a decision which undoubtedly saved his life, as the majority of passengers congregated on the port side of the ship. As 5th Officer Lowe started filling lifeboats on the starboard side of the ship, Dodge was able to secure a spot. Public outrage at the extreme loss of life was immediate. Just over 700 people, or 32% of the passengers and crew, survived. The U.S. Senate and British Board of Trade held special hearings into the causes of the disaster, the lack of lifeboats, why most lifeboats left the ship less than full, the conduct of the officers and crew, and the treatment of the third-class passengers. The total number of people who died on the Titanic is unclear. The figures released were quickly revised to between 1490 and 1500. The statistics have been adjusted so many times since 1912 that most historians agree that they will never know how many people died on the Titanic. As a result of the disaster, the first International Convention for Safety of Life at Sea was called in London in 1913. The convention drew up rules requiring that every ship have lifeboat space for each person embarked, that lifeboat drills be held during each voyage, and, because the Californian had not heard the distress signals of the Titanic, that ships maintain a 24-hour radio watch. The International Ice Patrol was established to warn ships of icebergs in the North Atlantic shipping lanes. Washington Dodge returned to San Francisco and in 1917 took controlling interest in Powelson Wireless Corporation, a telegraph company. He committed suicide two years later in June of 1919. I am now reading the contents of his letter. Close your eyes and listen. It will be very interesting. The officers in charge of loading the boats were cool and efficient, preventing all disorder as far as possible and enforcing the order to load the women and children first. I went to this platform when boat 13 was lowered on a deck to be loaded, after 8 or 10 women had been put on board, no other women or children were heard to answer the call of the officers. Then several people boarded the boat over the rail and someone pushed me from behind and shouted to me to go to the doctor. I boarded and in a few minutes the boat was full and the order was given to unload, the loaded boat was lowered 15 from the boat deck, thus we were in a precarious position for a few minutes. Condition, this threatened our destruction, as we approached the water, 
we noticed that our boat was being lowered directly into the immense amount of water discharged from the ship's side by the condenser pump, which ran 3 to 3 on the Titanic. Feet in diameter, which makes a vessel thrown 6 or 8 feet with great power s. It would have sunk our boat at once, to add to our anxiety 15 the boat swung directly over our heads, as the steamer was several feet, inserted, into the water, on her bow, and both boats were lowered. Our loud cries of alarm were heard above and the lowering of both boats was arrested, as we had neither officer nor seaman in our boat to guide us, we fortunately managed to remove an oar, with which we pushed the bow of our boat. The menacing water was 8 or 10 feet from the pump, and on releasing the spur, we dropped into the water, and, inserted, the, were at once swept from the side of the steamers by the great force of the water, the sea being as calm as the waters of a smooth flowing river we sailed to overtake a boat, and one of our boats. Couldn't find it, we found it after traveling about one quarter mile. Okay viewers, that's it for today's video, tell me your comments about this video. Well, see you next in an interesting video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and show your support. Thank you.